you have opened up the dice here, and it oh, looks yeah. like D10s? Yeah, so it's a, a completely D10 system. Okay, so um, a 10-sided dice. The way dice. the... Uh, so it, 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 it still plays very much like Dungeons & Dragons. Uh, back here, this is what the character sheet looks like. Okay. Uh, and it, it, it feels like a Scantron. Uh, your skills are on a one through five system. Okay. And uh, at the beginning of the game, you are given like an allotment of, of dots to put places. Okay. So uh, at the top of it, you'll see that there's uh, like mental, social, physical skills. Oh, yeah. Uh, and then so you'll get like... Three dots in in one group, five dots in another, seven in another. Okay. And basically, it's just like Yelp. Uh, a one is weak, <laughs> five is great, three is about mediocre. Oh, interesting. And and so what? <laughs> just when, like Yelp. Yeah. So when the when the storyteller or the the game master, as it is, yep. um, tells you, just like in D and D, if there's a chance of failure, the you you have to roll. Right. And so as the GM or the storyteller will say like, okay, did you want to try to bust open that door? Yep. Then we'll say that that's a physical feat of strength. So mm -hmm. take how many dots of strength you have, and then we'll say that's um, like uh, brawl because you're you're using your body to do it. Right. And so you would look up your strength and you would look up your brawl and however many dots there were in that you would pick that many dice. So physical, you have strength, dexterity, stamina. If you have three dots in physical, you would take three dice. Correct. And then you would look down at this smaller chart, yes. which has athletics, brawl, craft, drive, firearms, melee, mm -hmm. larceny, stealth, survival, and it goes on like yeah, that. Uh -huh. uh, alphabetically. Good for them. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and so you would take that and you'd create a dice pool. However many dots you like have. Like if you had two, two, you had. two pips in brawl uh -huh. and three pips in physical, yeah. you'd take five dice. Five dice. Okay. And then so you would try to hit a target number, which is usually six. And uh, so... That would you, be pretty easy. Well, you would roll the dice, yeah. and however many dice come up six or higher are ah. your successes. So if you do like one success, you barely succeeded. If you did three successes, that's a success. Yep. And then anything above that is like extra. Okay. And so it's a very like uh, loosey goosey abstract system. So yeah. it's not like in D and D, it's like roll a seventeen, you rolled a sixteen, you missed completely. <laughs> this one's a little more forgiving because right. it's about telling a story. It's not really about like killing the monsters and grabbing the treasure right it's got it's got more it's it's yeah it's, yeah you have to i would imagine that whoever the dm or the storyteller is would have to be um picked very carefully just because for sure i mean i, I think that's true in all tabletop games mm -hmm. because if someone's running it that is a a, a I don't know, just a button pushery kind of person. Right. They just want to kill you. A min maxer. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. And um, and so my favorite, like I've played several different kinds of these tabletop games. Sure, Pathfinder, D&D. Pa right. I've played plenty of Pathfinder and D and D, and then also Champions. Oh yeah. Well, and then the hero um, system. And the here and the hero system. Uh, right. And then the hero instant, which is Andy created. Right. On the uh, on the interweb. I remember uh, beta testing that. Yeah. There you that go. Was fun. And uh, yeah. And so, um, but he is. But yeah, and it was interesting watching the different people run the games. Do you, are you DMing a game right now, or um, are you playing? I want to. I, okay. I, it, uh, again, like you said, it takes a lot of work and a lot of planning, mm -hmm. and also uh, trying to schedule adults to come meet for anything is very difficult. Right. Uh, let alone up to five. We're playing Eberron. We, we're playing 3.5. Awesome. Oh, cool. Uh, Eberron, a D&D &D system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, The a, dark noir version of uh, Right, and it's a bit of a mess because Andy doesn't like, and he's the DM, uh -huh. is he doesn't like psionics. Mm. So he has uh, created sort of a separate alternate uh, to make up for that oh, okay. in, in the game system. Sure. And so, but we've been playing this game for uh, almost 14 years. Wow. And so we're gods. And he's like, we're done now, by the way. This is the last year of this game. But we only meet like every six weeks. Right. Because of scheduling. Because one of um, our friends has to come up from San Diego. Oh my gosh. And, uh, and he stays overnight. <laughs> of course, of course. But that's uh, cool. That's a cool thing to have. Like, you know, um, I think that's why I like board games and, and, and uh, role-playing games in general, because it's one of the few things that bring people into the same room anymore. Right, <laughs> and, right. You know, like, few people even eat dinner together anymore, so it's like, right. yeah. let's all get together and, like, compete, or, right. like, or, or do or this shared thing. Hang out for several hours and tell me what's going on in your life, right. in between rolling dice and having a good time, right? And, and, and that's what my, uh, my favorite thing, too, about role-playing games is that it's basically a group lie you all agree happened. Oh, that's awesome. It's like you're just creating false memories with a group. Because you all <laughs> remember the moment you slayed that dragon that never happened. Oh, anymore. my.